angry guy here and a beautiful girl is left hungry and homeless because of bad decisions. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay. All right, what's your name? Adina. Diana? Adina. Adina. Yeah. How old are you? 25. Where are you from originally? Arizona. From, uh, from Phoenix? Mm hmm And what's your situation right now? I'm just homeless. I don't really have any family or any friends or anything, so I just roam around Arizona. How long okay. have you been homeless for? Four years. So ever since you were 21? Yeah. What happened to all your family? I have my mom that lives out here, but we don't we don't really hang out or talk. My brothers, but. So you have yeah. your mom, your siblings? Mm-hmm. When was the last time that you talked to them? Like three, four months ago. Yeah. They're, they're doing good, but I'm just like, you know, doing my own thing. They don't have really room at the house or anything, so. So they didn't tell you to come back home or nothing like that? No. No. They're like, get out of here. Leave. Don't come back. <laughs> Why is that? Are you in bad terms with them? No. No? Mm-mm. So how was your childhood growing up? Good. I mean, I freaking just played in my room, really. I didn't really do anything, go out or anything like that. Did you have both parents, mom and dad? Mm -hmm. I have a stepdad, but he basically raised me, so. Yeah. So what do you do out here to survive? Just ask people for dollars and hopefully I'll get some. Sometimes uh, I'll get more than you know other days or sometimes I don't get any at all. And I'll freaking, the lowest I've been is like getting a cup on the floor and going to get some water in the okay, So, you know, just like different every day. Where are you staying at right now? Like, do you have a tent? Where, where do you usually sleep? Behind buildings, bus stops, what do you do? Most people have tents and stuff, but I don't have any tents. I just hang out. So there's some people that I hang out with and I'll stay at the, like if I don't sleep for like, a couple days or whatever, I'll stay at their tent or whatever at night. But I don't really like to sleep at night because it's, you know, it can get dangerous and stuff, like depending on where you're at. But I just walk back and forth between like Bell and Camelback, so. Yeah. Bell and Camelback? Yeah. On what, like, on what avenue? Um, usually between 67th and like 35th, like those avenues. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never really over here, but I just happened to be over here today. Why'd you move spots? Mm, where did I go? I was at, I don't know, I was at Pima and 7th Ave, and then I just, I think I was hanging out with somebody and I just ended up over here. I didn't even mean to end up over here, so. Yeah. Did you get dropped off or you just walked? Yeah. Yeah, I got a ride. So you say it's dangerous out here. What kind of dangers do you go through? Well, there could be pretty sketchy people. Like, they'll steal your shit or if... I don't know, though. There's crazy people out there. So, like, if you want, they want something that freaking you don't want to give it, they'll take it if they want to, like, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, be careful. Who you talk to? Yeah. Are you trying to get out of your situation? Have you looked into any programs or anything like that? I haven't looked into any programs, but I mean, I haven't really, like, I don't know. I just don't know what to do. I'm just do you know, going with the flow yeah. every day, so. Have you heard of any shelters out here? Um, I've heard of Cass, but I don't know. Why don't you go down there and see what they could do for you? I don't know. I should go down there. I, I don't have an ID or anything, so I don't know if they like yeah. take ID or something, but. No, I'm pretty sure they have like, they can get you your ID out there. Right. You know? Like if you don't have a, a, if you don't have a mailbox or anything like that, they'll they'll be able to like get your ID to come into their building or whatever. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they probably have, oh, I've tried CBI. I've worked at CBI. Yeah, I had, I got, um, I got a place to stay for a little while and then I ended up going out of state and then coming back. So I need to 
uh, talk to them again because they're really good, actually. So. What state did you go to? Uh, California. Well, yeah, what I just city have, were you in? Uh, Tatchpe, Rosemont area, like by Lancaster. I, mean, I have family out there, so. Oh, okay. So you were visiting family out there? Mm hmm Yeah, just for a couple of days. But I had yeah. lost my spot, like my spot or whatever at um, the shelter. Yeah. So you left and you you lost your your bed or what? Mm hmm Man, yeah, I guess uh, there's like a 24 to 48 hour or whatever. You didn't let them know that you were leaving though? Um, no. No. Okay, you just took off. Yeah. What did they say when you came back? Uh, nothing much. They just... Whoa. Oh. Um, they, I, they were just like, we, have, we don't have your bed anymore. Here's your stuff. Basically, we got some of it together. And um, you can go hit up the CBI number again or, you know, wait for another bed for our place to open up. I hear a lot of people say a lot of bad things about that place. Is it really that bad or how was your experience in there? No, it was good. It was nice. It was like a little home. Was so, it? Yeah. What do they do when you check in and all that? Um, they literally show you your apartment and all that and then, or your little place, like it was like a little apartment and they're just like, here, this is not, do you need anything or whatever? And we told them water and they came and brought us water and everything. So it's like a one bedroom apartment? Yeah, or it had, a, it had, no, it had two bedrooms. It had two bedrooms and it had like two um, bunk beds on each side. So you had so. someone staying there with you? No, it was just me and my uh, ex that was with me. Oh, so it's a co-ed? Like mm -hmm. Guys and girls could stay there together? Yeah. Couples? Yeah. And what do they do? Do they feed you guys? Yeah, they feed you three meals a day and all that. It's just like, it's regular, it's like regular housing, but they feed you, they help you get like out of there. They're supposed to help you get out of there, help you get a job, help you, you know? So that's probably what I'm gonna do. What about when you're living there? Do they require you to like look for a job or have a job after no. a certain amount of time? No. No, they don't? Mm. No, I don't think so. I think, I think you have like three months actually Yeah. to whatever, but I don't know. And what they help you with. You know, guys, this video makes me so angry. I, I, I'm just furious as I'm watching this. I am so, I, I just can't I, I explain how sad I am and disgusted because I've gone through homelessness 10 years ago and it was a nightmare. And I asked for help and I just literally had people laugh at me. I had cop. I had, you know, they have these cops that go around and they basically, you know, help the homeless people. And I asked them for help. They laughed at me. You know, the moment that they knew I had a college education, they literally laughed at me, laughed at me. You know, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the content and there's a video you want me to cover to request a topic for a video, see the description below. Guys, let's look at this girl. She is 20. She's 24, 25, 25, I believe, because she's been homeless since she was 21. So she's been homeless for four years. She's been homeless since she was 21 years old. And if you look at it, and she's actually very interesting. I don't think she's wearing a lot of makeup or any makeup right now, just looking at her. And you can see that she is naturally very beautiful. A lot of girls don't have this. She is naturally very beautiful. The reason why she has these things on her face, that's that's the result of using very certain substances. Okay? So that's that's a result of substance use. And we all and we can already guess what kind of substance specifically. But that's a result of substance use. But she's a naturally very pretty woman. Very naturally pretty, very girl. She's extremely young. She's only, she's 25. She's been out there since she was 21. When we talk about how many options there are for women as, and even and for the homeless in general, it's insane. She actually was living somewhere. They essentially gave her an apartment. She had an apartment, three meals a day, everything that you need there. Everything that you need. She was with her partner. So they even allowed her and her man to live together. This is why we have to stop helping them. Stop helping the homeless and let them help themselves. Or if they cannot, then they need to be institutionalized until they can. These, If they cannot, if they're in a position where they cannot, nope, no more streets for them. No more streets for them. They need to be institutionalized or they need to be in tent city. All right? She had every opportunity to survive. Every opportunity to thrive. How many of you listening right now wish that you could have something like that? 
where you can go somewhere. They will give you an apartment. They will give you three meals a day. You will have everything that you need. They will even give you three months to go and look for a job. And to be very clear, during this time frame, she can apply for she she can she's she's likely going to still qualify for food stamps. So she'll collect food stamps. She's going to qualify for Medicaid. So she's going to get Medicaid. Okay, for, that's for low income people. If she has any specific disability, she can qualify. She can apply for SSI. She will get SSI. It usually takes three to six months. She is low income, no income, actually. So she can actually go and qualify for a program called the ACP, and she will get the ACP, and they will literally pay her phone bill so she can have a cell phone, a nice cell phone at that, because she's also going to qualify for cash assistance. So she will get cash, cash assistance. And depending on where she is, you know, until she collects, S gets, starts getting SSI, which is almost $1,000 a month. Uh, or, well, it could be, it's usually between 800 and 1,000. But she can start collecting cash assistance right away. That's usually somewhere around $250 a month. And it can be more depending on where you are. There are some places like in LA or San Francisco where they're getting like $600, $700 a month just from the city, I believe. It's crazy. So she can have a, she can have her phone. She can have her phone paid for. She had a roof over her head. She had meals provided for her. Everything, okay, they were likely providing uh, cleaning, uh, people to do the cleaning in there. So she didn't have to clean her own toilet. Everything was being provided for her. And what did she do? She basically picked up and she took off, and that was it. She just walked away, didn't tell them that she was leaving, and they realized that it doesn't see, it sound like it was a place where you, like, you go in and you couldn't come out because you obviously could, but she decided that she was just going to walk away, just walk away from it, and decided, and then said that she'd come back when she felt like it. Guys, they have every option in the world to do well. They have so many opportunities that us normal mortals do not have that have to go out there and work hard for their for their jobs, for their money. All right. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's sad. And she meant, guys, this woman could easily be a housewife. She could easily be a housewife with her looks. Come on. She is naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful. She could be a housewife. She could have a husband. She could have a nice home. She'd have everything provided for her. And all she'd have to do is do a little cooking and cleaning, which would be no more than three hours a day. But even without that, she was being provided for by the state. And you can listen to the questions that he's asking her because he's basically fishing. You know, I'm sure she's had other opportunities as well, and she's completely blown them all off. I I've told you once and I'll tell you again, there is something inside, inside of every little girl, the streets. All right. And it calls out to them. They choose to go to the streets. It calls out to them. Come to me, come to me, come to me. I have a lot of these videos where you have a lot of women that say, I don't know what, what happened. I was doing okay, but I just had to go. The streets, like the streets were calling out to me. They literally say, it's like the streets were calling out to me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I keep telling y'all. Oh, where does it come from? Is bad. Guys, she had a good father. She she had a stepfather. A lot of these girls, they end up with a stepfather. And these men step up and raise them. And they'll say, oh, yeah, that guy is my father because he's the one who raised me. And she's like, oh, her family, they, they told her to just go. Like, oh, her family just abandoned her. They don't want her around. Really? They don't want you around? Why would your family not want you around? Could it be because of the things that you're doing? Maybe you're taking things that don't belong to you, selling them so that you can go and buy certain substances. No one trusts you anymore. Maybe it could be that, you're, that, you, that you don't tell the truth all the time. No one trusts you anymore. Could it be that you've done some terrible things to your friends and family? No one trusts you anymore. 
Stop trying to save her. She doesn't want to be saved. By the way, guys, turn on notifications because a lot of you all are not getting notifications whatever I put out in the video. So go ahead and turn on notifications and subscribe to the channel. What do you guys think about this? A beautiful girl is left hungry and homeless because of bad decisions. I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. So let's talk about them there. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.